Welcome back. It's your boy Bullies Big X here in Columbus, Georgia for what it seems to be the third weekend in a row. Most of uh, well, I had a break, but I'm back. Yeah, you got the casual old man. Old man. Oh no! And I have my mom with me. Uh, she's in the bathroom right now, so. Now I'm Um This is the second round of Pepsi. Uh, I know I did a video last week on Pepsi. I think I did at some point when we were in Columbus. And we're back in Columbus, and oddly enough, the hotel we were staying in back then was... No. Back when I was with Logan and him, the hotel we were in was, like, right over there. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny, but, uh, no. So we have the second round of Pepsi tomorrow, which is three games in the morning at 9 a.m. 9 a.m., right? 9 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. And that will cut to top five and match play out of 12 of us for boys. Um... I will be going in with people like Logan Mathis and all that, but I'm not worried. I mean, this is my second year in a row making it to this point in Pepsi. Last year, I choked in the, uh, in the I choked in the uh, second round, getting like I don't know. I, think I got like seven, shooting 480 for three out of 11. It was bad, but no, this year I, I hope. To do better, uh, I, I I was working on some stuff. I got a bowl in this pattern Tuesday night before I came out here. Uh, that was the last time I pulled, mind you, but all's okay. Got uh, your body time to rest, recoup. Yeah, recuperation. Even though I work, that's the only reason why I didn't pull more. Um, and right now we are very tired. Very long drive. It took us what? It was four hours almost. Yes, fighting traffic through Atlanta. I was asleep though. A lot of, it's like a prostate exam. Oh my god! Please stop! <laughs> please Needed stop. but unwanted. Uh, <laughs> I swear, every video there's gonna be one bad joke he makes that he's in. Just one. <laughs> and I'm gonna get some sort of hate one day because you're gonna say the wrong thing at the wrong time. But yeah. to give a little tour, I'm gonna give a little tour. This is my bed, bed, mirror. No, that's your bed. Oh yeah, yeah. We joked about that could be my bed because like. I could clearly lay down on that. Uh, mirror, very big. This is probably the biggest hotel room we've stayed in. Yeah. This is by far probably the biggest bathroom. Door, door. Uh, said, bed. Microwave. Fridge, microwave. Fridge with nothing in it, because we have nothing. Microwave with nothing in it, because we're not cooking anything. Uh, TV, another mirror. TV, you can see in the background, right there. TV. That man. Very healthy relationship between him and I. I insult him and he just ignores it. I'm built like a Cadillac, built for comfort, not speed. And then, <laughs> then we have outdoors We're on the second floor. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's quite dark outside, seeing as it is like 9 o'clock. Yeah, it's 9.07. But now, time to talk. What are, you, what are your, what are your, like, thoughts on those? Well, Thoughts I got it. a pretty long weekend anyway because I have to head to South Carolina. Shut up. No one cares. We're talking about bowling. All right. <laughs> Tomorrow, the pattern that they bowled on for state, which they again get to try Pepsi. to conquer this, it, it's, Pepsi, it's called Pepsi. Pepsi is um, blue number three, and this pattern has all the oil you want for 32 feet, and then, uh, then nothing. Buff. Yeah, I wish it was that. And the uh, oil is so heavy that it just tracks down, and before you're done... It's all over the lane, so you can throw the same ball, same time, same place. It's going to have a different reaction. You just got to be able to adjust and uh, find a good line. I mean, it was brutally hard last week. It played like a one-to-one -one ratio pattern. I mean, one person broke even the whole uh, the whole week. That was there Logan, was Logan Mathis. Mathis. I think I said that in my last video, but like one person. I mean, to be fair, nobody did last year, I don't think. No. Nobody did last year. I think it was, was the same pattern as it was last no, year. No, it wasn't. It was blue two last year, apparently. Oh, well, whatever it was, it, it was, was like four feet, last year. Four too. feet difference, yeah. yeah. It went from a 38 foot to a 42 foot. Or a 42 foot to a 38 foot. Um, my game plan this week is open up the lanes as much as possible because that's what I felt comfortable most on doing last week and when I was practicing. Um, I saw a lot of people were playing really straight last week, and I felt really out of place because I was hooking most of the lane. Um, I'm excited though I brought 10 bowling balls with me uh, I'm going to start off hopefully tomorrow morning with the Morpheus Dream uh, with a lot of surface on it 
you haven't purchased that channel dot. You can't use it. Um, Spank me naked. I hope the camera doesn't pick that up. <laughs> but no, uh, start off with Morpheus Dream tomorrow. For you that don't know, Morpheus Dream really strong, asymmetric, solid. I did a video on it a while back. Uh, I, by Lane Masters, I really plan to carve out the outsides because the way it played it was a very flat pattern and very the outsides were very heavy in oil some, for some reason. That's how Bolero Columbus or AMF Peachtree lanes these be called played and um, frankly I really want to burn that up so I can get me some nice room to miss right and left. Uh, and then hopefully go down to either my Phase 2 or my Truth Tour edition. So either one of those two. You were, you were one. The uh, uh, most people that will bowl on this will try to stand right and play up the board where all that oil is. And the thing is, if you get off to the right by one board, you're going straight to the ten. If you go, if you get off to the left, you're going straight to the seven. Yeah. For a right hander and vice versa for a left. So, so for Garrett, if he can actually take it and open up stand left, open up and play it right to left. He'll, he should get a lot of good carry and actually have a lot of good reaction, and it'll continue for him for a longer period. He's got to do it for three games. And plus match play if I make it that far, which is what I'm hoping. Um, seeing as my, my main focus on opening up the lanes here was because, you know, a lot of people weren't playing there, so I'll have a lot of time to break it down to myself where I want it to be. Um, the issue is, though, uh, that house is very hard to carry in. <laughs> You want to talk about some bad leaves, man? Like, oh, I never. They haven't been that many splits since the cheerleading competition. Let's put it this way: it was bad. Woo. Plus, you got some weird carry. I mean, washouts all over the place. Yeah, lane transition bad, and it was a mess. But it'll be fun, hopefully. I mean, he's not bowling at least. I mean, think about him bowling a U-turn. Oh, he'd get killed. He ain't even that good. Well, you know. I do hold my own. Every one game in a blue moon. Um, but I'm married, so sometimes I have to hold on. <laughs> but uh, I, re I, I regress, degress, and get back to the story. Uh, bullying is hard. No, and life sucks. <laughs> no. The thing is, these lanes, a lot of people have practiced a soil pattern, but the lanes at this house are the HPL all the way down 60 feet. Uh, for those who don't know, I uh, think AMF Woodstock, my home center, the front 20, 26. 40, 20 feet, 26 feet straight down, very high friction surface. Some HPL. The, yeah, the HPL high friction surface. It's one of the most aggressive surfaces out there. Um, it's it, 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 The back ends in Columbus are extremely snappy and unforgiving, so if you get the ball to, and too much of a roll, it will go through the nose and you'll have some very bad leaves. That's how life is. And this pattern is very common with bad leaves. I'm What's a good cut line? What do you think cut top five will be? We were discussing this, and I thought, you know, I just put out there six, you know, six ten would be cut. But I said that would be first place. <laughs> but uh, Garrett informed me last year no one hit 600. So no, one person did. One, Peyton, Peyton Smith, yeah. Yeah. But the um, thing is, is it people are going to have to adjust quickly. They're going to have to, uh, because they're only going to get, Three games. And we're so, going to have to play for transition. Which you means, can't have a bad game when you have three games. You have six games, you have a bad game, you can make it up. I mean, if you, you can have one bad game, but you better shoot. you got to shoot in the 200s if well, you have a bad game. It depends, because if it plays as hard as it did last week, you know, then you may be able to shoot two bad games in a row and then right, still, still be okay. Uh, there is another thing. Uh, Garrett could actually throw his exodus. I don't Iron, want to, uh, see, I but had, he has to play it straighter. Yeah, see, I had a when I was practicing on this pattern back at home, I had a lot of lines with the iron and a few other of my weaker stuff just playing right up the boards, and I don't trust that here because that our, my house plays a lot different than this house, and the back ends are a lot different, and I don't want to you know throw a ball and watch it skid sixty feet and continue to skid past the sixty feet into you know whatever I may leap. I mean, I could always go with the idea of throw it 25 miles an hour at the pocket. Yeah, no well, yeah. Just spare shot it at the pocket. Well, this is a pattern that the most important key to this pattern spares. is hitting your spares. Spares, spares, spares. And make sure that if you know it's going to be a spare day, 
make them easy spares. We're talking about like <laughs> one, two combinations, one, three combinations, ten pins, six pins. Shoot, easy. even one, two, four, seven. Okay. Well, I don't know. That might be pretty difficult on I this know, pattern. I mean, let's just throw like a one, two. Right, but the thing is, is you you got to work. You got to make sure that when you throw the ball, that you, if you have a line and that's what you're getting, as long you know you got to hey. Single pin spares is what you want if you can't get strikes on this pattern. Because nine spares better than nine miss or six three miss. You do not want to sit there and do like Garrett had to do last week and hit t- t- two in a row, two, two ten, ten splits. splits. But to be fair, I did, did both. pick them up. I was like two and three on those t- on the day. Um, I now did, he did miss the two eight ten, but <laughs> but I think that should be expected. I mean, I did almost leave a five seven ten at one point. I I, I threw I saw my Congo, which I had really good looks with, and last week, and I hit pocket really light, and a five seven ten was standing. Something hit the five pin. Five pin knocks over seven pin. Something hits the ten pin. I'm like, okay, I'll take it. And walk away. I think that was one of the only strikes I threw that game though. Hey, you just don't look a gifted horse in the mouth, you know. Oh, uh, you dance with the girls you brought. You got it. Hey, you dance with the your date that you brought. Might not be the stud or the prom queen, but it's a date. Better than dancing with no balls at all. That's true. <laughs> you could go to house ball. <laughs> Your longest relationship. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> but people, people are going to probably want you on the show more than me. But the thing is, seriously, this is a tough pattern. It's a very hard pattern. For some reason. And, and the it be. fact that they bring this pattern out for... And most of the people who do this Pepsi tournament, they have to qualify. That's that's given. great. That's a given thing. But the problem is, most of them don't ever throw in a sports shot. And when they get on this, it is a totally different bear. Uh, I believe Garrett's going to be fine tomorrow. I hope. He keeps his head straight, keeps, him fo- keeps himself focused, and... Don't exhaust his energy just because he got one strike. Uh, if you go, you know, if you get... Front seven somehow. <laughs> if you get your front seven is nine spare, nine spare, nine spare, nine spare, nine spare, nine spare, nine spare strike. That's a pretty impressive front seven, my that, opinion. You take it and run with it. You just keep doing that, you know. Um, I think Randy Brown, who runs Prodigy, who I've been on a few times, I think he'll be down. Here. He will be doing Prodigy. Uh, we don't know which group he is. I'm hoping he'll be in U20 because I think there's the most of us in U20. Most of yeah, are U20. Yeah, uh, and I know everybody loves seeing me walk off shots, you know, five lanes. And there's a lot of the Georgia All-Stars in this thing. This Especially week. the U20 boys. In like the U20 boys, definitely. I'm rocking my All-Star jersey tomorrow, you know, and some white tuxedo shoes. We're not going to talk about that, but that's going to be awesome. Uh, I'll probably post that on my Snapchat story tomorrow morning. Me and my all-star jersey, my white tuck shoes. I think Kyle will like that. Kyle will probably want Kyle, those shoes. Kyle, 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 Kyle is the coolest all-star. One of the coolest all-stars. Terrell's pretty cool. Uh, sharp dressed. You will never see anybody as dre- sharp dressed and color coordinated is Kyle Bentley. Bentley. K-H-Y-L-E. Bentley. He's, he's yeah. awesome. And he drives a Beamer, so he's cool. But he's just a good, good... Young man, and he's funny because he jumps up and down when he gets mad, and he's kind of short. So he, like, you see his hair and everything. Goes, I do have hair envy. I do have yeah, hair. Yeah, he has envy, like yeah. he has like afro on roids. Like it's like, but uh, but overall, I think I think Kyle will do pretty good tomorrow. Yeah, because the way he throws the ball, he's it, a very uh, you, 1960s style down it, and in right out of the pocket. If you look at the ones that's going to be in this tournament, there's a couple I've never seen before in my life. But you got some of the top bowlers in the state of Georgia in this tournament, if not just in the southeast in general for non-college bowlers. Like, I mean, and even upcoming college bowlers. I mean, we have Joshua Donaghy who's going to Emmanuel. Uh, I'm phenomenal, sure, phenomenal. We have Emily Reddick going to uh, Louisiana yeah, Tech. Tech. Uh, everybody knows who Annalise O'Brien is because it's Annalise O'Brien, one of the top girls in the nation for U15 and well, at one point U12. Peyton Smith, who's already at Emmanuel. Yeah. Um, who else is there? Uh, Charlie Char- Bostick. Yeah, Charlie Bostick. Everybody knows Charlie for the guy who buys a million bowling balls. Uh, <laughs> Logan Mathis. Logan Fossum. Logan Fossum. The, one of the largest subscribed YouTube channels on the internet and Dawson Stewart, who is Ooh. about as smooth lefty as you're going to see. He's also the only lefty, I think. I think he is the only lefty. Like in the U-20 boys, at least. And uh, 
uh, Scott Landek, all star, all star, <laughs> good guy, and um, hey mom, you want to be in the video? Oh, she said no. She don't like y'all. All right, uh, wrapping up here. Wrapping it up. Um, this was a long vlog because he wanted to talk forever. I did not. Yeah, you did. I'm blaming it on you, not me. Uh, and overall, I might do a video in the morning, might not. It's going to be an early morning. Got to get up bright and early. Love it. Uh, I'll probably be one of the only people awake tomorrow morning compared to the other people. Agreed. Because all the other all stars have to wake up that early, too. <laughs> we'll all be up early. Yep. So I'll end this with a nice, happy salute. And this video should be over in just a second. Eat